Thank you for watching this training on Big Universe K-12 Digital Literacy Solution. This training will be split into two parts. First, a presentation using slides to show a comprehensive overview of our features and more importantly, to show how educators are using those features. The second part of the training will be a live demonstration on our site to show how to navigate it and access the features that we discuss in this presentation. Before we begin, it helps to understand the philosophy our product is based on. Big Universe was founded on a commitment to improve the world through education. We recognize that to be successful, students need great literacy skills, and building these strong literacy skills is essential for their lifelong success. We also saw the very special partnership between students and teachers, so every feature we develop is put through the following filter. How will it engage students to read and write more? And how will it save teachers time by providing them valuable resources? When we designed our product, we looked at popular literacy frameworks as a guide, such as Daily Five, Bloom's Taxonomy, Common Core, and so on. We discovered that they all refer to the same things, a balanced or integrated literacy model that includes reading, writing, and other skills such as speaking, listening, and language use. Our goal is to provide educators a program that makes it easy to leverage all of the critical components in a single solution that's easy to use and fun for students. Based on our mission and these popular frameworks, we built a one-stop literacy solution for an entire school that can be accessed 24-7 on any device. We thought through all of this and built a solution that has two key components. First, a ready-made ebook library. Second, balanced literacy tools for differentiated reading, writing, quizzes, and real-time data. We also have sharing features to foster independent and peer-to-peer -peer learning, as well as teacher-to-teacher -teacher resource sharing. Our product uses a responsive design that adapts to all screen sizes, ranging from smartphones to tablets to laptops to digital whiteboards. Our goal is to enable 24-7 learning, not just within the school. For example, homework assignments, summer reading at the library, on vacation, etc. Let's look at the content side of our solution. We have over 10,000 ebooks from over 40 publishers. You can think of it almost as a Netflix for education. It's a ready made ebook library with content for every school, classroom, and at home. Texts are leveled using Lexile, Fountas and Pinnell, DRA, and even ATOS if your school is already using accelerated reader quizzes. You get 24-7, unlimited, simultaneous access to these books without the hassles of check-ins and check-outs, downloads, and time limits. You can have the entire school reading the same book at the same time. And it works on all modern devices, from small to very large screens. Let's take a closer look at the library. Our search feature is unmatched in the industry and designed to help teachers find content for any topic. You can combine many filters such as reading level with genre that provide topic specific content quickly. The result is precious time saved for teachers and engagement for students in genres that appeal to them at their level. Students can find books in different ways such as independent exploration, sharing, and most importantly through books that are specifically assigned to them by their teachers. Big Universe is designed for all K-12 users. Teachers can find content that aligns with their lesson plans while meeting the individual needs of each of their students, from struggling readers through students reading above grade level and everyone in between. Cross-content material is available in any subject. And not only will you find fiction and nonfiction books with beautiful images and authentic texts, you'll also find Spanish and bilingual materials, a variety of high interest low reading or high low books, animated ebooks, and fiction nonfiction pairs. The goal is to make it easier for you to create a reading culture where Big Universe becomes a habit. Some schools and districts incorporate Big Universe in their core curriculum referencing Big Universe materials in their unit instructions. Here you'll see an example of a teacher 
using Big Universe for full class instruction from her digital whiteboard. This is just one of the ways to use Big Universe that will be shown. The virtual bookshelf is a powerful feature included in every account that allows teachers and students alike to save their favorite books. You can also create collections of books. Think of collections the way you would think of book bins for physical books in your classroom. You can organize them by subject material, by genre, or even a certain time of the year. For teachers, your collections and bookshelf stay year after year in your account, which is convenient for reusing or repurposing the same content for future classes. Students get a sense of empowerment from the ability to build their own bookshelf and collections. Big Universe is personalized for every student to help generate excitement. These personalization features help give students a sense of their own space within Big Universe, promoting deeper engagement in the platform. Our safe sharing features help students find new books by seeing their friends' bookshelves. These same safe sharing features allow teachers to collaborate with their colleagues and, if desired, to share with their students as well. Schools use Big Universe on everything from one-to-one -one devices such as iPads and Chromebooks to digital whiteboards to regular desktop computers. Here you'll see a school that has taken advantage of their classroom technology by using their devices as reading machines with Big Universe. Students are able to all follow along in the same book to engage with the lesson. When searching for a book, you can filter using your preferred reading leveling system. After you find a book, you can use our complimentary assignments feature to privately assign books to your students. This enables you to differentiate instruction easily using small groups, RTL, ELL, gifted and talented, and so on. Also, students don't have to feel embarrassed carrying around a print book that's below the reading level of their friends. Big Universe gives you control to determine what content is appropriate for each school. The user of your school's administrative account, such as your library media specialist, principal, or technology specialist, can set a grade range filter to filter out certain grade levels, or they can block a specific book if a parent should object to it. Teachers feel comfortable letting students drive their own learning on Big Universe through independent exploration since our content is carefully vetted, teachers have monitoring tools, and schools can filter content. Here you'll see students using Big Universe for independent, student-driven learning. Now let's take a look at the Balance Literacy Tools part of our site. We have tools for differentiated reading, writing and publishing online, quizzes, and real-time actionable data. Here you'll see our Balance Literacy Tools being used in a variety of different settings with different learning models, including independent reading, intervention, small group instruction, and even whole class instruction. Big Universe includes quizzes that were built to develop higher order thinking skills in students. They can be used for instant assessment or test preparation. Quizzes are aligned to common core reading standards and follow PARC and Smarter Balance guidelines. They address all levels of Bloom's taxonomy. Reporting in the teacher account is a great tool to assess comprehension and provides an instant snapshot of student progress. Big Universe seamlessly integrates writing to help build well-rounded critical literacy skills in every student. Our powerful writing tool can be used for creative writing, written responses for a reading-writing connection, research projects, and more. Students can publish their books to teachers who can then share them with other students. Students have created hundreds of thousands of books on Big Universe. For teachers, we also provide Common Core Writing Standards aligned lesson plans with predefined activities and download materials to save teachers time. Engaged students who are discovering new material through their reading love to synthesize new ideas and concepts in their writing. Here you'll see students using the Big Universe writing tool in the school computer lab. You can always know what your students are reading in order to engage them further with additional content and discussion. Reports are available to monitor reading logs, track usage, view quiz results, and more. 
teachers can manage their own rosters and automatically receive a weekly Reading Trends email. School and district administrators can use our Easy Import feature through the website or use our automated application program interface to schedule nightly imports. Our support options provide many ways to help you be successful, including online resources, email support, and phone support. Our online self-help resources include our support site, complete with frequently asked questions, topics, and our web contact form. We also have a literacy blog site with exciting ideas from guest educators and a monthly newsletter with great tips on how to use Big Universe. Take a look at our homepage for samples of testimonials from a variety of other teachers as well as success stories that show how other schools and districts have made Big Universe a successful part of their literacy culture. With Big Universe, you have a one-stop literacy solution that includes a ready-made leveled ebook library, balanced literacy tools for writing and listening, as well as sharing features to foster independent and peer-to-peer -peer learning and teacher-to-teacher -teacher resource sharing. When we say one-stop, we wanted to make sure that teachers had everything in one place as it pertains to literacy to assess, assign, teach, track, and engage students, and students can expand their world by exploring their areas of interest. Big Universe is a proven solution with third-party research available on our homepage, available 24-7, and you'll find it uncomplicated and easy to use. Now let's get started learning how to use Big Universe. You'll start by simply selecting Sign In here on the Big Universe homepage. I'll sign in under a sample teacher account. Use the user ID and password your school has assigned you, followed by your school's group username. Neither our passwords, usernames, or group usernames are case sensitive, so either upper or lower case are fine. Your students will sign in the same way with their usernames, passwords, and the same group username yourself and everyone else in your school or district will use. Now, select the lower sign in box. Let's take a look at the different elements of your Big Universe homepage once you sign in. At the top, you'll see five selection tabs labeled Me, Library, Writing, Assignments, and Manage. Your students will have all of these except for the Manage tab. The Me tab gives you a red toolbar with different selections. Below, you'll see your bookshelf, which we'll get to a little bit later. I'm going to select the Library, changing the color of the toolbar and the selections within. The Library tab is really the heart and soul of Big Universe. The All Books section, currently highlighted, is where you and your students can browse and sort through the continuously growing Big Universe library. Students really enjoy browsing through the 16 most popular genres you see here, such as action and adventure, graphic novels, or mysteries. I'll select the box for Astronomy and Space. Here you'll see thumbnail images of the covers of all books in this genre automatically sorted for English language books. And although there are over 10,000 books, I'll show you how easy it is to find the perfect text for your lesson. As a teacher, you'll find the filtering options on the right-hand side of the page to be the key to finding the books you need. First, I'll click the X here to remove these filters and return to the main library. Now let's come to the right and look at these color-coded boxes for Lexile, Fountas and Pinnell, DRA, and ATOS for Accelerated Reader. These will help you to sort by different reading leveling systems. For example, I'll choose Fountas and Pinnell. Doing so has expanded the right-hand sidebar, showing all the different levels that I can select from. I'll select Level J. You'll see that thumbnail images of all the books in that level are brought up. On the book cover, you'll notice the colored boxes showing the reading level of the book, and even if the publisher hasn't reported all reading leveling systems, our system automatically cross-references them. You can scroll down the list using the scroll bar on the right-hand side. For particularly long lists, such as this one, I could click Load More at the bottom to load more books. Now since this is such a long list with hundreds of books, let's filter it down further. In the right-hand sidebar, under Reading Levels, you'll see Further Filters. Let's start by selecting whether we want a fiction or nonfiction book by selecting Subject Slash Fiction Type. Here, I'll choose Nonfiction. 
you'll see that now the selection has been narrowed down to 201 books. But we don't have to stop there. Let's filter it down even further. Let's choose a genre. On the library homepage, you saw our 16 most popular genres. Here you'll find additional ones such as character education, high interest or high low books, picture books, and more. For now, let's choose science and technology. You'll see that now our selection is down to just under 60 books. Lastly, let's select quiz under our filters. Here we can filter for books that have a quiz your student can take right within Big Universe. You can even choose a quiz based on quiz concepts such as craft and structure, integration of knowledge and ideas, or key ideas and details. Let's say that I want to test for craft and structure. Now I've narrowed our selection down to 29 books, a pretty tight selection. So I'll select Done to view my results. By the way, if you would prefer to see more information and options for each book, you can select the List View icon in the upper right hand area. You can always toggle again to go back to the Grid View without the additional information. Clicking on the book image takes you to the book's own information page where you can view additional details and similar titles. Clicking the X in the top right area takes you back to your filtered search results. I'll select another result. You'll notice that if there is an accelerated reader quiz offered for the book in their system, that quiz number will be referenced here for your convenience. To open the book and read it, select the book's cover or the Read Book button. This is what a student will see when they read a book on Big Universe. To turn the page, simply select the large arrow below the book. The double arrows will take you to the end or back to the beginning of the book, or you can type in a page number and press Enter to go straight to it. You have a plus sign to zoom in for more detail, a minus sign to zoom back out, and a full screen icon to move the page to the full screen of your device. If a student wants to bookmark a page to return to it later, they can select the bookmark icon. Everyone's bookmarks are separate from each other's. Selecting the icon in the lower left corner with the square grid brings up a sub-menu beginning with thumbnail images of each page of the book. This is akin to flipping through the pages of a paper book where you can see the page you want to go to, select it, and go straight to it. Then you can toggle the grid to go back to reading again. Other sub-menus within this area include Table of Contents, as well as any bookmarks that you have created, with the last ones you've created showing up in that order. Toggling the grid icon closes it again. Big Universe really is designed to give your students a captivating and engaging reading experience. And the third-party research we've had done that's available on our website has shown that students will actually read more just because the digital format of books appeals to them. When you're done reading, click the X to close the book, and don't worry, as many students as you would like can be reading the same book at the same time. Here, we're back to our filtered search that we constructed. Let's return to the book's information page. Since we chose books that had quizzes available, let's sample the quiz by selecting the Take Quiz button. Our quizzes, written by licensed teachers, contain different types of questions, such as questions where you reorder a list on the right to match the steps on the left. Select Next to proceed to the next question. You have true-false questions, multiple choice, and fill in the blanks. When the student is done, they would click Submit to submit the quiz. They'll receive instant feedback on their quiz showing what questions they got right and wrong and what their score was. Let's return to the library to find that book that we were looking at. I'll use the search bar in the upper right hand area. You'll see that the list automatically populates. I can choose from here or I can press enter to bring my results to the middle of the page. Now I'll go back to the book's information page where I can assign this book to my students here. Your roster will populate below and you can select Load More if you have a large roster of students. From here, you can either select All to assign the book to all of your class, you can clear all to clear that selection, or you can assign the book to just one or more particular students in your class to differentiate learning and then select Save where you'll get a notification message showing that it was assigned to three students. From here, I can also add the book to my bookshelf as well as any collections that I've created which we'll talk about soon. Simply select Save in the bottom right and you'll receive a notification message showing that it was added. While you saw the bookshelf on the Big Universe home page in the Me area, let's actively manage it by selecting My Bookshelf in the orange toolbar in the Library area. Everyone in Big Universe has the power of choice to create their own bookshelf. 
Here you'll see all the books you've added to yours in alphabetical order. To take one away, simply click the X in the confirmation message. On the right hand side, you'll see any collections that you've created. Collections are a wonderful way to organize books and use them throughout the year. Later, you'll even see how you can use them to share with other students and collaborate with your colleagues. When you select a particular collection, you'll see books that you've placed within it. Let's create one now by scrolling to the box that says Create Collection. Simply select it, type in the name of your new collection, and then press Enter. Now you've created a new collection. Of course, if I click on it, nothing yet has been placed in it. So let's place a book in that collection. Let's start by going back to the ORCA book that we found earlier. While I could find it in the library, I'm going to scroll back up and select Entire Bookshelf to go back to my Whole Bookshelf. Now I'll simply scroll to the book I'm looking for and select it. Even though it's already in my bookshelf, I'll select the Bookshelf button again within the book's description page in order to add it to any collections that I would like. Select Save, then you'll receive a notification message showing that it was added to your intended collections. Let's look at one last area of the library by selecting All Books. Under the filters in the right-hand sidebar, you'll see some specialized lists of books beginning with fiction-nonfiction pairs that are very valuable in elementary school settings on various subjects. Our selection of animated ebooks is terrific for early readers, non-readers, ELL, and special education students and features many fairy and folk tales that have moving cartoons, animations, music, and the text will be read to the student as it's shown on the page. English-Spanish bilingual books are terrific for ESL students or students learning Spanish as they show the same story on every page in both languages. In fact, while the vast majority of our books are English language, we do offer a small selection of books in 14 different languages, including Spanish with over a thousand books. Now let's select the Assignments area. Here you'll see all the books that you've assigned to various students on your roster. In the sidebar, selecting By Students will show you the student's name and all the books that you've assigned to them. Now I'll select the Manage area. This is where you'll find all students on your Big Universe roster. Clicking the pencil icon out to the right of a student's name will allow you to view and change basic details and or reset their password if your school or district allows for it. I'll select Cancel since I don't want to change anything right now. While your school or district may actively manage your roster for you, if you need to remove a student from your roster, simply click the minus sign and then select Yes in the dialog message. Students can be on as many rosters as needed, which is especially helpful for team teaching or special subjects. Let's say that you want to find a student in the school and add them to your roster. In the right-hand sidebar, select All Students. Now, you can either use the search box or scroll to find a student that you want to add. You may want to narrow it down to a particular grade level before you find a student to add. You can then select the plus sign of a student you would like to add. You could select all if you want to add all students showing on the screen. You can deselect those students. Or you can select multiple students by clicking on their avatar images and then on the right hand side under actions selecting associate students and then yes. Now under view select my students and if you've selected a grade level set it back to all in order to view your full roster along with any new students that you've added. While your school or district may do this for you, if you need to add a new student that comes along mid-year, you can do so under Actions by selecting Create New. Selecting Quizzes in the Manage toolbar will give you an overview of quiz scores from all students in your roster that have taken quizzes. This gives you a bird's eye view of your students' reading assessments. You can sort by a particular student and even particular quiz concepts. You can delete quiz results that you would like to remove, and you can select a student's name in the list of quizzes taken to get details about that student's quiz taking activities. Under Quick Facts, you'll see the number of quizzes they've taken, the times they've scored 90% or more, the subject areas they've taken most of their quizzes in, and below, you can even click on one of the boxes beside the quiz to see exactly what the student got right and wrong. It's a great way to gauge comprehension of the materials that they're reading on Big Universe. Still within the Manage area, the Reading Log shows what your students have been reading, student by student. 
Selecting the Usage area will give you a nice graphical overview about statistics showing the ways that your class has been utilizing Big Universe. This includes how many books they've read, how many are on their bookshelf, the number of books that you've assigned them, and more. Selecting the name of a student from your roster below will take you to statistics about that particular student. And if your email address is in our system, you'll also get a weekly email summary of your student's reading. At this point, I'm going to sign out of the Sample Teacher account and briefly sign in to the student account. In the student account, most things function exactly the same as in the teacher account. For example, here on their personalized homepage, they have access to their bookshelf, as well as a drop-down menu for any collections that they have created. Let's talk for just a moment about the safe sharing features built into Big Universe. If students would like, they can connect to their friends and even to you as the teacher by selecting the Find Friends button under their username and avatar. From here, they simply type in the username of the user that they would like to connect with, whether that is a fellow student or a teacher. Here I'm looking up a fellow student. Connecting with a friend allows the student to do two things. First is to see their friend's bookshelf. This exposes them to books they might not have otherwise seen and can almost create a kind of book club type of atmosphere around the lunch table or a recess, for example. The other thing they can do is to send one of 15 pre-scripted positive messages to their friends, such as, I like your book selection, check out my bookshelf, or have a nice day. No freeform text is allowed. After they've added them as a friend, Anytime they're in their home page, their me area of Big Universe, they can select their friends list, find the user, and take a look at their bookshelf and or send them a message. They can also add you as their teacher to their friends list. This allows you to offer them the power of choice but limiting their selection from the library. You can have them look through your bookshelf or you can direct them to a specific collection that you've put together for them to choose a book from. It's also a very valuable way for you as a teacher to connect with other colleagues by adding them to your friends list. Then you can view and use each other's collections. This makes our safe sharing features a wonderful tool for peer-to-peer -peer learning and for teacher-to-teacher -teacher resource sharing. The assignments area will be a very important area to direct your students to on a frequent basis so that they can see the books that you want them to read. Here they'll find that their most recently assigned books show up first. And on the cover of the book, it will show the name of the teacher and the date that the book was assigned, so that if they have multiple teachers who are assigning them books, they'll know which book came from which teacher and when the book was assigned. From here, just like in the teacher account, they simply select the book's cover and then select Read Book to read right from their device. I'll select X to go ahead and close the book. The writing area of the student account gives them access to launch our writing tool. This is designed to be used on desktop and laptop computers. The writing tool functions much like a basic word processing program. The most important buttons are found here at the bottom. Select the A to add a text box and type in text. From here you can format the shape, size, and color. This box lets students choose the background color of their page. These buttons allow students to add more pages to the front or back of their book and to save their book. Over 7,000 clip art images will allow students to get creative. Simply expand the category by selecting the folder and then select a subfolder within to load images at the bottom. Some images are animated. I can use the arrows at the bottom right and left to scroll through various images and I can select see more rows to see more images at a time. Then I can simply select the image that I want and drag it into my page. I'll select see fewer rows to minimize the bottom area. From there, I can drag my image around, manipulate it, make it larger or smaller, and fit it how I'd like it to be on my page. When finished with their book, students can use the save icon to save the book and then go to publish to submit the book to the teacher's account. Back in the writing tab, they can select to see their own books that they have created as well as any books that have been shared to them by their teacher. The Library tab functions exactly the same as in the Teacher account. Students will enjoy exploring, and many of them will become adept at using some of the basic filters on the right-hand side, even if it means simply looking for their reading level or their grade level combined with a genre that they'd like to explore. If the student selects their avatar image, they can update their account. The only things they can do to update their account are to change their avatar image and to change their theme.
to any one of many pre-selected images. Students will love to do this because they love to personalize the look of their home page. One last thing to note in the student's home page is the My Stats area where they can view usage statistics, a reading log of all books that they've read, as well as quiz results from quizzes they've taken. Back in the teacher account, you'll find your own My Stats area as well as the Find Friends box underneath your avatar image and username that will allow you to connect with your students and your colleagues. Let's take a look at the Writing tab in the teacher account. Here you'll see right from the opening page, you're able to launch the writing tool yourself. And in the toolbar, you have access to any books that you have written or shared, as well as a reviewable books area to see books that your students have published to you. From here, you can look at the book, and on the right-hand side you have publishing options to send the book back to the student, to share with other students on your roster, or even with the entire school. Finally, in the teacher writing area, let's take a look at lesson plans. Here you'll find many pages of lesson plans written by teachers for Big Universe for further integrating writing into our materials with your students. In the right-hand sidebar, you'll see that the lesson plans are arranged by grade level. This gives you a great way to integrate Big Universe and a reading-writing connection into your classroom activities. Selecting a lesson plan shows you any materials your students will need at the top, and below, activities are spelled out in order. At the bottom, Common Core Writing Standards are lined and referenced. Then back at the top, you'll have a link to any download materials for handouts and a link to any books that are required reading for the lesson. The link takes you straight to the book's information page where you can then assign the book out to one or more members of your class. Finally, let's take a look at the account management options you have in your account by selecting your avatar image in the upper right hand corner of your page. When you select Update Account, you have several options in the toolbar. First, you can change your avatar and theme just like your students. If needed, you can update your email address and your password if your district allows it. Username should only be updated in special circumstances. In general, it's best to leave the username as it was supplied to you. Also in this area, you can select Help to go to our support site. Here you'll find general help topics and articles on various subjects, frequently asked questions, a search bar where you can search for particular topics, videos and webinars, success stories that show you how other schools and districts have made Big Universe a success, and our contact form which will pre-populate your information that you can send to us with your question. You also have access to our email address and phone number. We definitely want to be there to help you at any point to make Big Universe a success for you and your class. Thank you for joining us for this Big Universe recorded training. We truly hope you enjoy making it a part of the literacy culture in your classroom or school. Feel free to contact us with any questions or needs.